friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I follow Weight Watchers and I count calories and macros. Happy Friday, it is Friday so it is a weigh-in day. Let's chat about my week, the WW workshop topic, and let's set some goals for next week. So if you're excited for another weigh-in, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell's on because we do a weigh-in every Friday and I upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below where you will find nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend. This is how I lost 90 pounds last year and I'm just about at 140 pounds lost total. I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability and if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group, definitely come join us there. It's free, it's supportive, and we'd love to have you. So let's jump into my week, my weigh-in, and the WW workshop topic. Friday friends. I hope you had an amazing week. I actually had a really good week. My life is getting a little bit back to normal after losing my lab diesel. I still think about him every day. I cry most days about him still, but I'm definitely feeling like life is getting back to normal and I'm able to focus on my weight loss, my fitness, my YouTube channel, my nutrition coaching. I'm kind of, like I said, getting back to a normal life. With all the stress of losing a diesel, I can really struggle with sleep. Not only getting to sleep, but staying asleep. So I have heavily, heavily leaned on Stelace the last few weeks. You guys know I talk about this all the time on my channel. This is my all-time favorite sleep supplement. I think this is my fourth or fifth bottle. I take this every single night for really, truly restorative sleep. There are so many amazing benefits of Stelace. It helps you fall asleep, stay asleep, and wake up refreshed. For me, I can fall asleep most of the time, no problem, but if I wake up in the night for any reason, I'm up for an hour or two, and then when I wake up in the morning, I'm tired and I'm groggy, and I'm busy, and I gotta work out, and I got things to do, and I'm tired and groggy in the morning because I woke up and stayed asleep for an hour or two every night. This has changed my life. Not only do I fall asleep, I stay asleep, and I wake up more refreshed than ever. You guys are always asking, how do you get up at 4 a.m. and work out? Stelace. Since I've been taking this, my sleep life has changed dramatically and 100% for the better. It contains bioactive adaptogens, nootropic, botanics to engage every part of sleep health. It's actually made for a sustainable sleep cycle. It is vegan. There's no artificial colors or flavors. You're going to take two capsules 30 to 45 minutes before you go to sleep. Allow it time to absorb into your system and I promise you, you're about to get the best night's sleep ever. And in fact, Stelace had been out of stock for a while and it is back in stock. You can purchase a single bottle or you can do what I do, which is sign up for their monthly subscribe and save. You actually get an additional discount when it's delivered to your doorstep every month. Take Stelace for five consecutive nights and your full benefits will show up in about four weeks. I know for me, it took a little bit less than that to really see the benefits. I kind of saw them right out of the gate, but now that I've been taking Stelace for months, my sleep has never, ever been better. So I wanted to share it with you guys because I know for me, when life's hard, when it's stressful, when I'm sad, when life happens, it's hard to get in your sleep and Stelace can really change the game for you. So I'll make sure that I link it down below with an added discount for you. Also, this week was pretty exciting for Lola. She is officially, as of Tuesday, halfway through her chemo. She is doing so well. She's still in remission. Please stay in remission for a long, long time because I cannot lose another dog, but she's doing really, really well. Weeks three and four of her chemo are pretty intense. So she hasn't been feeling the best for a couple days post chemo, but she's doing really well. Once the initial hump gets over those couple days past chemo, she's back to her normal happy self. She looks amazing. She's lost about 11 pounds. So she's at a really, really healthy weight. And I'm just so proud of her. She truly is a little rock star when it comes to her chemo. I will say kind of a funny side note about her is when we get off the freeway and we turn off of the main road onto the road leading to the oncologist's office, she starts to shake because she knows exactly where we're going. And then when we get there, she's really happy because because she gets a lot of treats from Jessica at the front desk. 
And then once she sees Chelsea, who's her vet tech, she immediately hides behind me, even though she loves Chelsea. I mean, Chelsea comes over, Lola gives her lots of kisses, but it's so funny how smart they are and how they know landmarks and how they know what's actually happening. It's pretty crazy to me. So I always feel bad when she shakes and she's upset when she goes to chemo. But once I come to pick her up after her treatment, she's happy as can be again, because like I said, they give her lots of treats and she always gets a couple before we leave. So it's just funny that how smart and special dogs treat are. I got in all of my workouts this week. I really focused on getting in my protein, eating healthy foods, just really, like I said, getting back to normal. So I want to share with you guys how that impacted my weight. But before I do, I want to chat with you about this week's WW workshop topic. And that is how to turn your mini wins into long lasting inspiration. This is really important to focus on those mini wins throughout your weight loss journey, especially if you have a lot of weight to lose. And that end goal seems really, really, really really far away, focusing on those little goals and those mini wins along the way will keep you inspired and motivated. You, every day, put effort into choosing healthy foods, following healthy routines, and you deserve some props for that. So I wanna share with you some tips and tricks on how to really lean into these mini wins. What simple thing did you do this week that took a lot of effort or energy? For example, I made two low point dinners after a work day. Number two, how did you make it happen? Thoughts, routines, plans, anything. I plan meals and went grocery shopping on Sunday. What barriers did you overcome and how did you do it? I know I'm tired after work, so I also chopped veggies on Sunday instead of watching TV, then played music while cooking for extra energy. And lastly, connect the dots to reflect on how your efforts helped you achieve this win. A lot went into these healthy dinners. Takeout would have been easier, but I created a routine, resisted the couch and to prep ahead and hype myself up with music. I always talk about NSV's non-scale victories. That is really what motivated me and drove me through my entire weight loss journey. It definitely wasn't the end goal because that was so far out. I I couldn't even focus on that. It was focusing on those mini wins and mini NSVs or non-scale victories along the way. Celebrating these is key. I looked at weight decades for motivation for mini wins. Getting to 200, to 190, to 180. Whenever I entered a new wet weight decade, I awarded myself with something. It wasn't food related and it wasn't a big deal, but I always did a little something special for myself when I hit a new weight decade. That's what kept me motivated. Those are those little wins along the way and they're non-scale victories. It may not really feel natural to pat yourself on the back or to brag about your success, but it's really important to give yourself props when you do well on your journey. You worked hard, you kept going, and losing weight is hard. Losing weight is definitely hard and maintaining that weight loss is even harder. So give your yourself props and rewards when you're successful on your journey. Turn those mini wins as you lose weight into big motivation. That's what's going to keep you going. People ask me all the time how I stay motivated. And the reality is motivation comes from results and results come from consistency. So remain consistent to see results to stay motivated. I also want to share with you three fast facts from Weight Watchers. Number one, reflecting on how we overcome barriers is critical for weight loss success. Number two, studies show that when we recognize the effort we put into our accomplishments, we tend to feel better about our progress. And number three, this gives us a sense of accomplishment that can motivate us to keep moving towards our goals. Keep your weight loss journey exciting. Celebrate those little milestones and those little wins. Give yourself props when you do something well, even though it may seem a little bit unnatural. Stay motivated by being consistent and seeing results. Truly, truly, this is how I made it through a huge, huge 140 pound weight loss. That was the only only thing that kept me motivated and driving towards my goals was seeing those results and celebrating those mini wins. Let us know down in the comments what is your most recent mini win that you celebrated so we can celebrate right along with you. I really like this topic and I'm ready to share with you my mini win for the week and that is all about this week's weigh-in. As you know last week I was up on the scale 0.6 coming off of a pretty big loss for me because I don't really have any weight to lose. That was quite a big loss which was as I mentioned, kind of stress-induced with my dog. Gained a little bit of that back last week, which I fully expected to happen when I went back to eating normal. This week when I stepped on the scale, I'm exactly the same as I was 
last week, which is great. We know that I'm venturing into maintenance, so it's really nice to know that I can manage stressful situations. I can still go out to eat. We went out to eat twice this last week and maintain my weight loss. Celebrating another win, another NSV is maintenance when we're on our weight loss journey. It's okay to maintain your weight because when you lose your weight, you have to learn how to maintain it. So if you have these little maintenance runs throughout your weight loss, that's really important. You can look back and reflect on what you did to maintain your weight that week and utilize those strategies and techniques when you get to maintenance. So I couldn't be happier about to maintain this week. I'm about to head out on a trip next week. So the fact that I'm able to maintain my weight and that's my goal for while I'm out of town as well as maintenance, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing and hopefully seeing that maintenance next week as well. So now I wanna hear from you guys. How was your week? Did you gain, did you lose? Share your favorite mini tips to celebrate those mini wins along your journey down in the comments for us. Hope you had a fantastic Easter. And of course, if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big, huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not so you don't miss away in every Friday or any of the five videos that I upload every single week. Don't forget to check out the description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and of course, come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Friday, happy weekend, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye! <laughs>